Very nice job, Matt. No one will be able to tell a thing. No one, that is, except me. And to the rest of the world, you build a beautiful building on budget. I didn't compromise a project. You're right. What's this? Matt, I said cash. This is the best I can do. Don't leave poverty to me. I know what you stand to make off this place. Stand to make? I haven't made it yet. Take your pick. The car now? Cash there. Yeah, I always wanted a Corvette. Hell, maybe next job you'll buy me a yacht. Job, Walter. my blue tie. I'll have everything unpacked by tomorrow. What do you think? I hmm? think you're going to be the best looking architect in Pacific Palisades. Just Pacific Palisades? All of LA. Just LA? The known universe. Thank you. <laughs> I can't find that shirt I washed last night. It's in the laundry room. Uh, Rachel, um, have you called mom yet? No. Would it kill you to talk to her? It might. Rachel. Look, Joanna, you call her. Tell her I made it to California without escaping. She'll want to know you're okay. Look, if she cared so much how I was doing, she would have sent me 2,000 miles from home. She means well. Yeah, right. Maybe if you just talked to her and explained that. Come on, Joanna, no lectures. That was the deal. You're my sister, not my mother. <laughs> oh, Nick, that tie is the bomb. Is that good? <laughs> Geez, Nick, where have you been? Have I told you how much fun I think this is going to be raising a 16-year-old? You wanted to leave Michigan. Mother asked me to take Rachel. All I did was say yes to everybody. I love it when you say yes. Is Rachel invited to the party tonight? The party? The party Robert and Kate are throwing for us. That's tonight? What, tonight? Oh, come on, Kate. Can't we put it off a day or two? The party was your idea, Robert. I already invited the neighbors. And Kate was coming at five. Yeah, but I didn't realize I've got a meeting scheduled for tonight. Well, reschedule it. Nick and Joanna were our best friends in college. And you convinced them to move to Los Angeles. It's up to us to make them feel welcome. All right, okay. All right, I'll reschedule it. Jeez. Better get there before Nick gets in. It's his first day. Don't overwork him. 
I know it's been a month since you lost Walter, and you've got projects backing up, but no overtime tonight. Wouldn't be right if the host and the guest of honor are late to their own party. <laughs> you hear me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I'll call you. Mm -hmm. Where are my clothes? Oh, uh, I hid them. Corey, I was late for work yesterday. I can't afford to get fired. Give me my clothes. I think you look fabulous in what you're wearing right now. What is this? I am absolutely crazy about you. Happy anniversary, Beth. What anniversary? We started dating six months ago. Today. It's, uh, it's too much. You don't like it? No, I love it. But, Corey, you can't afford this. Since when did you become my accountant? You have house payments, yeah. med school loan payments. Mm -hmm. Look, I have news for you, honey, okay? Plastic surgeons do very nicely in this town, especially if they're as gifted as I am, so. Well, you certainly do have a very skilled pair of hands. Yeah, I'm glad you noticed. So do I thank you. Thank you. School, I, I can walk. Okay. Great. It's okay to be nervous. Nervous? I'm thrilled to be out of that whack pit stop. It's hard to start someplace new. Mom was convinced I needed to get away from Dennis. It was Mom I needed to get away from. She does love you. Please. All she ever does is criticize me. I mean, my grades, my posture, my jokes, my handwriting, my clothes. She even told me I shouldn't cut my hair because my earlobes were funny looking. <clears throat> I've always admired and respected your earlobes. Now you're the only one in the family who understands. I wouldn't go that far. Well, I guess running away with Dennis was a stupid thing to do. I mean, it's not like I thought it was any great romance or anything. I just... I wanted to get out. Leave all that garbage behind. Joanna. Yes? I'm sorry you got stuck with me. I didn't get stuck with you, okay? Okay. I guess I am a little nervous. <laughs> well, kid with earlobes like those, you'll do fine. <laughs> Spent the night at Corey's again, huh? I don't know why you bother paying me rent. <laughs> well, I like having my own place. Look what he gave me. <laughs> oh, Beth, it's gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as an engagement ring, but it's a step in the right direction. Oh, don't start. <laughs> I have to finish college before I get married. Oh, Beth, the whole point of going to college is to hook a med student. You've already snagged a doctor. You're twisted, Laura. I hope you know that. Corey Robbins is a catch. Oh, you make him sound like a fish. No, you should move in with him. What, are you trying to get me out of your guest house? No, <laughs> you're a great tenant. I'd hate to lose you. Not to mention the rent money. Yeah, like you need the rent money. You're the top agent in your real estate office. Honey, working for a living is highly overrated. That is why you should nab Corey. He'll be raking in the bucks faster than you can say rhinoplasty. You know, I hope you don't talk like this in front of other people. Not everyone can tell when you're kidding, Laura. <laughs> Your way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, as Joanna's sister would say, it's the bomb. <laughs> I can't believe you own all this. Well, I don't. <laughs> it's leased. But the owner gave me a good deal because I designed it. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, I want you to meet ah, Nick. Good friend of mine. It must be Nick Hadley. I'm Beth Hooper. You look familiar. 
I waved at you when you got in the car this morning. I live next door. That's it. That's it. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hold my calls, okay? I'm gonna show Nick around. Well, I'll give you the tour. This is our command center. This is where we assemble the slides, pictures, resumes, documentation, the works. And when a new job comes in, I assign a design team. They work together till the job is finished. Okay? As you can see, where you hang your hat depends on your team. There aren't any set offices. Except mine. <laughs> you got a lot of people working here. Uh, most of them are here for a seminar this afternoon. You have really done it, haven't you? Yeah, this place is on the verge of becoming something big. It already looks big to me. Well, you know me, overextended and optimistic. <laughs> yeah, I got all my money tied up in this business. And losing my best architect about a month ago in a car crash didn't help. That's why I'm counting on you to put me on top. That certainly alleviates the pressure. <laughs> Hell, if there wasn't any pressure, it wouldn't be fun, right? Right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're busy. Hey, Jessica, I didn't expect you back from your uh, research trip so soon. Uh, this is Nick Hadley. He's gonna be taking Walter's place. It's uh, Jessica Mitchell. Hi. Watch out for her, Nick. She's a real comer. Top for class at Yale. He likes to ride me about that. <laughs> Welcome to L.A. Thank you. How often do you wear this? Every night. <laughs> Talk about needing a change. I like that. I was thinking of Nick. He doesn't have to wear it. I remember when you two first moved in together. You used to do it everywhere, all the time. The kitchen, the shower, the living room, the stairs. Kate, I never told you that. You forget we shared a duplex. I don't think you realized how thin those walls were. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two still as frisky? <laughs> well, <clears throat> since Rachel's around, I mean, the kitchen's out. I'm taking you shopping for lingerie today. Is it really that important? Why do you think Robert looks so happy? <laughs> I want you to take a look at that building that we just finished, the one that Walter was working on before he died. I'd love to see it. Well, I've arranged for the general contractor to meet you over there. You can get the address from Beth up front, OK? Great. Great. Hey, see you later. It's very nice to meet you. You too. Nick Hadley? I'm Matt Dunning. I'm the contractor this month. <laughs> this is a beauty. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so Robert says we're working together on the West Side Project. That's right. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. I hope we have the same good working relationship that I have with Walter. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about what happened to him. behind you. Well, we have to have it read in two weeks. You actually think I'm gonna read this? Look how long it is. I'm renting the movie. You don't want to do that. Why? Because it's cheating? No, because it's in black and white. Hell, so is the book. Ah, uh, good point. <laughs> you're new here? Yeah. So where are you from? Michigan. I've never been there. I'm Ashley. Rachel. I like your outfit. It's fresh. Really? Hi. 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 Hey. Listen, I set aside a few things for you in case you came in. Oh, I I'm not shopping for myself today. I'm here with my friend. All, All right, well, you let me know if you need anything, okay? Uh -huh. I just need your signature. They know you by name here. <laughs> I visit the store a lot. You know how it is when you're trying to get pregnant. You have to keep things spicy. Kate, you're trying to get pregnant? Yeah, with a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, that's so exciting. No, I don't know. It seems more like hard work. The basal temperature charts, trips to the doctor. Not to mention the fortune I've sunk into these little lace jobbies. <laughs> Laura? Who's that? Oh. Your neighbor. Hi, Laura St. Clair. Joanna Hadley. This is our new neighbor. Oh, the renters. Pleased <laughs> to meet you. Here, Joanna. Start with this one. 
start. I don't own much of this type of thing. Oh, honey, this is a wardrobe basic. You know, like a black dress and a string of pearls. <laughs> Although I can't wear it as many places. You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't buy a Jennifer Brooks. You know, I dropped 600 on this puppy. It wrinkles like a Sharpay. 600? You can buy a dress in L.A. for less. Laura just doesn't know it yet. Kate, in my work, you have to look good. What kind of work do you do? Real estate. I'm meeting a client next door for lunch. God, he's a pain. You know, I've been showing him houses for months. All he ever says is, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, do you plan on buying? When we know the area a little better. Well, we'll fill you in on all you'll need to know, won't we, Kate? Mm -hmm. Oh, like where to find some great jewelry at a discount. I would like to line up a doctor. Oh, well, there's only one man to do your eyes. Corey Robbins. Dr. Robbins, can you remove the tattoo? That's it. That's... Trent. My old boyfriend. <laughs> Eric isn't too happy about it. Yeah, I could see how that would be a problem. So, can you get rid of it? Yeah. Shouldn't be too difficult. What? Well, it's just... Hmm. What? Would you mind taking your bra off for me? Did you know that your, your right breast is just slightly smaller than your left one? It is? Yeah. Oh, of course, it's covered most of the time. I don't think Eric has said anything, has he? No, he hasn't said anything. Probably because the tattoo is drawn his eyes to the other side. Once it's gone, though. He's gonna notice for sure. Well, I mean, it's easy enough to fix, except for it's not cheap. Uh, right. Of course, you do have medical insurance. I can get the work covered. You can do your chest when I do your eyes. Why don't you go anesthesia twice? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, oh. so back. <laughs> Here we are. Hi, Hi. Kate. Meet your new neighbor, Joanna Hadley. Oh, this hi. is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh. What are you doing here? I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing the office. Yeah, well, it's not too shabby, huh? You should see the project Robert has me working on. You would not believe the firms he bid against and beat. Oh, so I take it you're happy? You're very. <laughs> well, goodbye. Later. Jessica. Oh, hi. Have you met Nick's wife, Joanna? No, I haven't. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. Here. What is this? Open it and see. Oh. Well, he's not in. It's beautiful. I saw it at Silverman's. Remember, you collect them? Thank you, but you shouldn't have. It didn't cost anything. I, I just thought you'd like it, that's all. <laughs> Robert thinks the world of Jessica. No, he doesn't. Yes, yes, he does, and so do I, because Robert is actually human again now that he has some help around here. Before Jessica, Robert was convinced there was this uh, conspiracy of incompetence. <laughs> well, he's quick kicking the dog and gone off Prozac now, thanks <laughs> to Jessica. If our firstborn is a girl, I might just name her after you. Are you pregnant? Oh, there's always the hope. Come on, I'll show you around. Nice to have met you. Hi. 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 The seller is providing a homeowner's protection policy. Mm -hmm. The roof is new and the carpeting is exactly the color you need. It's nice. Mr. Lorensky, I've shown you every house, condo, and duplex from Newport Beach to Malibu. For beachfront property, you can't do any better than this. I'm not sure. This house has everything you want. I'm still not sure. <sighs> Look at this place. It's completely private. You know, you could do uh, anything you want in this room and you wouldn't even have to close the blinds. Well, I'm still not sure. Mr. Lorensky, there must be a, something I could do to make this property more attractive to you. Hmm? She just left. 
Listen, um, can't have dinner tonight like we planned, okay? But I did get these. Two tickets next Thursday. Cabo San Lucas, four days, just you and me. I can't. <laughs> of course you can't. <laughs> I'm giving you the time off. I can't do it. I... All right. If you can't do it this week, we'll do it the following week. I can't do it, period. Not any of it. I can't see you anymore. What do you mean? Look, I never intended to get involved with a married man. Well, I didn't intend to get involved with an employee. I mean, intention is irrelevant at this point. Not anymore, because I intend to stop seeing you. What did I do? It's not what you did, it's what I did. Kate is the sweetest woman on earth. I, I just, I don't want to hurt her. Will you let me worry about Kate? It's wrong for me to be involved with you. Wait, just, wait, wait, just wait a second, wait, wait. I mean, just this morning, you told me how much you, how much you miss me. I mean, I know exactly how you feel because I feel exactly the same way. And we are not gonna stop seeing each other. That is vital. It's over. And that's vital. You do want the house, don't you? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Nick said you were stopping by, but I'm afraid the site plans aren't ready. We tried to call you. Oh, I've been out. Well, we're working as fast as we can. No, I know you are. Uh, have I told you how glad I am that Robert put you on the team? Well, thank you. We'll have the plans for you next week, I promise. If you say week, I say fine. Everything else is right on schedule. Uh, hardly. I found a gray hair right here this morning. And it's way too soon for that, don't you think? <laughs> oh, well, I'll be. You can smile. Have I been that bad? You could hire it as a mourner and live nicely. <laughs> Tough day. Yeah. Then I think, for your sake, that you should go out with me tonight. For my sake. Well, have we ever gone out before? No. So going out with me would be something different. And it's a well-known fact that a change of pace can cheer you up. How do you know I'm not seeing someone already? If you are, it's not going so well. You would be looking so glum. Come on, say yes. Look, what were you going to do? You are going to go home, feed your cat, make a tuna fish sandwich, watch TV. Uh, grim. I don't have a cat. Even grimmer. <laughs> I could use a change of pace. Terrific. I'll pick you up at seven. Okay. What do you mean settle? For $20,000, this whole thing can go away. I didn't do anything. It's your word against oh, her. And you know what this is about. I operated on that woman over a year ago, and she chooses now to come forward. In the same week, I'm profiled in LA Magazine. It's no coincidence. She smells money. All that woman has to do is file charges, and you will be in a world of hurt. Nothing happens. So what? In the end, people only remember the accusations. That woman comes forward, you stand to lose your entire practice. Corey, we are only talking $20,000. <laughs> I don't have $20,000. No savings? No. Investment? No. All right, all right. Borrow against your house in Pacific Palisades. I took out a second one I remodel. Damn. What about your car? It's, it's leased. leased. <laughs> what do you do, Corey? You spend every dime you make in Densa? Yeah. If there's one thing I've learned in this life, it's the better you look, the better you do. Nobody's gonna be interested in a plastic surgeon who drives a Yugo and rents an apartment in Van Nuys. You want it all right now, don't you? I spent my whole life waiting. I'm not waiting any longer. Well, neither is your former patient. You have until 2 o'clock tomorrow. She doesn't have a cashier's check in her hand by then. Her lawyer. She's gonna file charges. Joanna! In the bedroom! 
Ashley invited me to go to the mall tonight. There's a really great band playing. What about homework? I finished it. I don't know this, Ashley. Look, you're not gonna pull a mom number on me, are you? No, I didn't say you couldn't go. I just want to meet your friend first. Okay, no biggie, I'll call her. Ready? Is that Rachel? Yep. That was the first day of school. Down and deep. No translation necessary. <sighs> I have no idea what to wear to this party tonight. Uh, why don't you, uh... Let's wear that red dress. Yeah, with the, uh... That's four years old, Nick. No one at the party's gonna know that. <sighs> All afternoon, I was looking for something new to wear. And I have to tell you, $600 for a dress that wrinkles like a Sharpe You is spent $600 on... No, no, not me. Laura, what's her name, next door? I spent $70 on trashy lingerie. You bought trashy lingerie? <laughs> well, we're in California. I thought we should do as the natives do. Uh, really? <laughs> and, um, uh, what is it the natives do? <laughs> hmm? You barely said a word to anyone. What's the matter? Nothing. Liven up. Come in. Hi. Hi. You look great. Uh, thank you. Hi. Oh, let me introduce Hi. you. You've already met Beth. Hi. Uh, Nick, this is Laura Sinclair. It's Laura and Nick Happy. Hello. Hi. You live down the block. Next yeah. door. I live down the block. Corey Robbins. Hi. Uh, and Beth lives... In the guest house over her garage. Got it. <laughs> so, did Laura tell you good news? No, what? I sold the Rensky the house. Mister, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. How'd you do it? Oh, it's a buyer's market. I convinced him he could get anything he asked this woman is unbelievable. Hey, how you doing, Nick? Good, good, good. Hey, Matt. Hey, we were at this way, so we decided to drop off these papers you need. Oh. Thanks. Right, just, I'm sorry, you're having a party. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Hi. Jessica, <laughs> Matt, come join the party. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I won't take no for an answer. This is a nice day for us. You tell me they were dating. I didn't know. <laughs> so you're going out with Matt Dunny? Why shouldn't I? Oh, come on. He's not your type. He's not married. That's my type. Were well, you doing this to hurt me? I am doing this to forget you. Then why did you come here? I didn't know he was bringing you documents until we got here. Well, you didn't have to stay. Oh, no, I suppose I could have told Kate. Sorry, I don't think I should come inside because I've been sleeping with your husband and he might not like seeing me with another guy. I don't like it. Here you are, Robert. What are you doing out here? Don't tell me you're talking about work, for heaven's sake. Let the woman have a life. <laughs> Take my advice. Don't marry a workaholic. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure we can afford to buy in this neighborhood. We're only here now because Robert threw a six-month rent subsidy into the job offer. Oh, you know, there are all kinds of real estate opportunities if you know where to look. Believe me, I have my finger on the pulse of the city. Well, um, maybe in a year or so. Well, you know, it's never too early for comparison shopping. I'd be happy to, um, show you a few things. I know. He caught me completely by surprise. It's... wow. <laughs> I'd be afraid to wear something this expensive in public. Oh, come on. It's no more expensive than your watch. Oh, excuse me, ladies. I need to go get a refill. Do you think I should tell her? Tell her what? That bracelet is worth $10,000 or it's worth a dime. Back home, guys give their girlfriends flowers, and that's when it's serious. Stay home. That's 
thing is, when you're out, you want to make a statement. Now, what does it say to you? <sighs> Something definitely X-rated. Good. Now let's go turn some heads. Believe that Laura Sinclair is a real estate agent. You think some of them beetles would be a actress? <laughs> it's L.A. You, know, you get more beautiful women per square mile than any other city in the world. <laughs> you know, actresses, real estate agents, department store clerks, uh, even architects. Your new neighbor might be difficult to land. Looks like he's slopping over with Midwest virtue. <sighs> Why, you're crude. Crude, yeah. But right, I know that look. I find him attractive. Arrest me. I just don't know what you think you can get of Mr. Nicholas Hadley. I mean, he's certainly not going to be buying a mansion anytime soon, and it's not like he can give you a butt lift at cost. I paid you nicely in other ways. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No complaints there. But what does that guy have to offer? I'm not allowed to have a hobby. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, we're sorry we didn't get a chance to talk tonight. But, uh... It was a lovely party. Thank yeah. you. I'm glad you could stay a while. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wish me luck. Good night. Thank you. They make a great couple. like we've been here for about a year. Longer. This place sucks. <laughs> don't mind him. He got a hassle at the restaurant when he tried to buy a beer. <laughs> hey, we don't sell alcohol to minors. Yeah, fight me. Chill out, dude. I told you I know we can score some weed. Is she with you? Oh, yeah, this is Rachel. Rachel, Michael, and Brian. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, if you guys are still thirsty, I can get the beers. How? You're 21. No, Einstein, it's a fake. Not bad. So what do you say we uh, pick up a six-pack and some weed and cruise out to Malibu? Killer. I can't be late for work again tomorrow, so I'm gonna hit the hay. Let me help you. Thanked you properly for the bracelet. Well, why don't we just get beers at the restaurant here at the mall? Because Malibu is way cooler. You'll love it. It's my first night out. You want me to smoke dope and come home late? My sister would kill me. How's she gonna know? We can't go there, listen to music, and be back by 10.30. So we're five minutes late. If she gets pissed, it's worth it. These guys are so fine. We have lucked out Major League. It's obvious Michael likes you, and he's a big-time scorer. Can't. If you want to stay here and play Marsha Brady, fine. Have a ball. I'm going to Malibu. Well, how am I supposed to get home? <clears throat> All right, um, you sit right here. And, um, I'm gonna try on that little surprise I was telling you about. <laughs> Bye.
Nick. <laughs> Are you ready, big boy? <laughs> Admit it. You're overcome with desire, right? That looks like your old nightgown. It is my old nightgown. What'd you buy? This. Yeah. Kate says everyone in California wears these. Mm. Well, guess what? There's finally someone who doesn't. I didn't know you were so shy. No, no, it has nothing to do with modesty, Nick. Sunny California, my eye. Gets cold here at night. It's hard to be attractive when your teeth are chattering. Come here. Come here. I'll keep you warm. I'm not sure about this place, Nick. Um, Let's face it. I'm just a farm girl at heart. Well... You know what they say about the farmer's daughter. <laughs> Besides, you look great, whatever you wear. <laughs> Although, you would look uh, better. Like this. If it's Rachel. She's out having fun. Or maybe not. <clears throat> Hello? Joanna! Yeah, what's the matter? Rachel? I'm stranded at the mall. Okay, don't worry. Stay put. We'll be right there to get you. What's wrong? It seems Ashley's not so deep after all. She dumped Rachel. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah, okay. It's just. And that's what I call a thank you. I'm thirsty. You want some water? Yeah, sure. Mm. My bracelet. What about it? Well, it's not here. Did you have it on at the party? Yeah, and, and I took it off and I put it right here. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Did you find it? It's not there. No, turn up. Corey, that's the nicest gift anyone's ever given me. It's all right. I'll turn up. Don't worry. You must be the easiest going guy on the face of the planet. Most men would scream about something like this. It's just a bracelet, right? Besides, it's insured. I'll tell you the truth. I forced myself to go out with you tonight because I'm trying to get over someone. You did very well for someone on the rebound. I enjoyed being with you. As long as you didn't suffer. Not at all. I think for your sake, I should kiss you. Oh, for my sake. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're trying to get over someone. <laughs> I don't think it'd be a there good idea. There you go again. Thinking too much. wasn't so bad, was it? You know me, I'll have to think it over. Why don't I come over tomorrow night and get your answer? Okay. Seven o'clock? Yeah. Don't get out. I can walk myself to the door. Good night. Good night. This 
is a major news bulletin. So I, I had this feeling all day. And uh, tonight I, I started to feel ill. I thought, God, it's the shrimp I had. And um, what's the matter? I know your moods. Something's bothering you. I'm in love with another woman. We gotta move along, please. We have to pick up someone from Pacific Mall. Yeah. It's closed. There's been an accident inside. An accident? A walkway fell. Nobody's allowed in except the paramedics. What? People were hurt? Lots of people. Oh my god. Rachel. 